So I think I just cracked the code for life, right? So I just literally watched a Sesame Street video about what patterns are, okay? Elmo and his friend, Mr. Craig Robinson, all right, they said, what is a pattern? Craig Robinson said, a pattern is a series of things that repeats itself. Now, this is a show meant for children that breaks complex things into simple, easy forms. What is a pattern? It's a set of numbers that repeats itself. A pattern is something that happens over and over again in repeating order. It repeats itself. So, four, two, nine. Four, two, nine. Four, two, nine. It's a pattern, right? Blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. It's a pattern. Now, how does this apply to life? How does this apply to life? There are patterns in life. You wake up, you see a toothbrush, you grab the toothbrush, you put the toothpaste on, you start brushing your teeth. The next morning, you wake up, you see the toothbrush, you pick up the toothbrush, you put the toothpaste on, you brush your teeth. At nighttime, you see your bed, you change your clothes into your pajamas, you sleep in your bed. The next night, you see your bed, you change your clothes into your pajamas, you go to sleep. It, there's patterns for life. Now, how do we translate this to success? How do we translate this to uh, getting to the next level, right? Watch this. You see your computer. You press the com on button. You go to uh, successhabits.com, right? The next morning, you go on your computer. You go turn it on. You go to successhabits.com. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. You're, you own a business. Every morning, you drive to work. You get to work, you say hi to all your coworkers, you go to your office, and you start working. The next day, you drive to the work, drive to office, say hi to your coworkers, you start working on your business. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. So, here. Here it is. We want to build good habits. We want to build good habits. We want to get things done. We want to change our lives. The quickest way to change your life is to change the patterns, rearrange the patterns of your life. Rather than every Friday night, I'm gonna go out and drink with my friends. I'm gonna change that pattern to every night on a Friday night, I'm gonna go out with my friends, but instead of ordering a beer, I'm gonna order a soda, right? So we are slowly changing the behavioral patterns because, check this out. So I just read an article about patterns, right? And what they were saying was for a pattern, it's sort of like a development, like you create a pattern, it's like a talent. Why are these people so talented? Actually, that's what the article said. Y'all ain't talented. Y'all just got insane patterns going on. Now, let me explain. Day one, all right? Day one of beatboxing because I'm a beatboxer, right? Someone gave me a pattern. Let's say it was... I could not do that the first day, right? But then, by the 10th day, they said, hey, do this pattern. The pattern of, okay, I understand where the B goes. All right, I've done the B. Actually, I, I don't even know, okay? This is, the, okay, 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 okay. We backtrack, we, we backtrack, we backtrack, we backtrack. Okay, here we go. So, every Friday night, I'm going to go out with my friends and drink alcohol. That's the pattern. Every, that, that's the pattern, that, that's math. The same way, 429, 429, 429, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. The same way that pattern, that's a pattern for life. Every Friday night, go out with my friends, drink alcohol. That's the pattern. That's it. That's the pattern. It's math. We're making things that don't seem like math, math, okay? Now, we're going to change that pattern, oh my goodness, to every night, every Friday night, I'm going to go out with my friends and I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go drink. I'm gonna go out with them, but I'm gonna change the pattern with drinking 
soda. Now check this out. You go out every Friday night. I'm gonna drink soda. Every Friday night, go with my friends, drink soda. Every Friday night, go out with my friends, drink soda. Now, you have power over the pattern. Let's change the pattern. Every Friday night, I'm gonna go out with my friends and I'm gonna order water this time. Wow. Every Friday night, I'm gonna go out with my friends and I'm gonna order water. I'm gonna order water this time, right? You have power over your patterns, power over your patterns. So for me personally, me personally, right? Me personally, I have a pattern of always being late, never being on time. Now look, that is a psychological pattern where I equate to, oh, this is the order. This is the order. Sean is always late. The next day, Sean is always late. The next day, Sean is always late. That's the pattern. That's the pattern is I'm always late. But we change it. Let's change that pattern to every single day I wake up and I'm on time. Instead of waking up 10 minutes late, I'm going to wake up 10 minutes earlier than I usually do because I'm late, but this time actually be on time. That's confusing, but you know what I'm saying. So instead of waking up at 7 o'clock, I'll wake up at 6.50. I'm going to change the pattern. My alarm's at 6.50. Why am I not waking up at 6.50 then? Why am I waking up at 7? I don't know. I do know now because of the patterns, right? The pattern is I keep waking up at 7 o'clock. The pattern is not 4 to 9. The pattern is 4 to 8 every single day. 4 to 8. I don't want the 4 to 8 pattern where I wake up at 7 o'clock every day. I want the 429 pattern where I wake up at 650 every day. So when you have power over the patterns, you have power over your behavior, you have power over your habits, you have power over your life, over your success, over your actions, over your future. You want to change your life, change your patterns. Now let's backtrack a bit. Let's backtrack a bit. I'm absorbing all this information. I'm feeling it. I love it. I love it. But, but. But, what will those patterns look like? How are we going to develop those patterns into our life? You know, we hear about good habits. We hear about um, doing the simple things, getting up and stretching once in a while, every 50 minutes, every hour. We hear about drinking more water. We hear about eating a bit healthier than we usually do. But how do we get there? How do we get there? How do we get there? How do we get there is like this, okay? So the example of why I said I want to change myself from drinking alcohol every Friday night with my friends to drinking soda then to drinking water at the end is there's two ways to it, okay? There's two ways, right? So number one is to minimal effort. So Doing the bare, bare, bare minimum. I want to get in shape. I want to get abs. But I don't work out. I'm going to work out at 5 a.m. every morning for three hours. I'm just going to do abs, abs, abs. Sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. I'm going to get my big chest. Work out three hours every day. Change my diet completely. And it's insane because you have not created any habits or changed any patterns. So it's going to be so difficult. But with the minimal effort. What is the most minimal, 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 minimal effort that you could do even when you're like super sick, have a flu, 105 degree fever, and like, nah, I got minimal effort, I'm gonna do this. So what do you do is, I'm just gonna do 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups every day and just drink water instead of anything else. That's it, that's it, that's the minimal effort, okay? Then slowly over time, you start building 15 push-ups every day, 15 sit-ups every day, drinking more water, right? 20 sit-ups every day, 20 push-ups every day, drinking more water. Oh my God. Then before you know it, you're past, past maximum effort where you have to put so much effort into 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups every day becomes your new minimal effort. <sighs> Think about that. All right, I learned this from Bart Kwan from Barbara Brigade. Right? Search him up. Guy's insane. I love him. I love him to death. So that's method number one of building good patterns, building new habits is minimal effort and maximum effort, how to balance that out. Method number two is we say, fuck that shit, right? And we say, F that. I'm just going to go full throttle, 
all in, change the patterns, wake up on time, take cold showers, drink hella water, work out every day, shock my body, put in all my willpower, we just go full throttle. Now, I like that. I love that. Everyone wants that for themselves. Everyone wants to get to the next level of them ASAP. But, 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 I tried that. I tried rushing into it. I played French horn. I tried rushing into progress, getting super high. I tried rushing into beatboxing, learning all the advanced sounds, learning all the advanced stuff. I tried to get super into fitness and do all the hard workouts and everything. But, but, when I say this, but, when you go full throttle, you best better be learning the fundamentals, my friend. The fundies, fundies block, I say. You want to grind real hard, grind the fundamentals. And I'll tell you this, when you grind the fundamentals, you learn how to A, build good form, two, prevent injuries, three, learn how it's supposed to be, and when you learn the fundamentals, it makes the advanced, the advanced, you like that? The advanced, my fingers, versions of what you're trying to learn much easier. For dancing, I want to learn how to do pop and lock. If I can't even do the basic where I just pop in, my arms in different positions, pop in my chest and I isolate things, then there's no way I'm going to be able to do the advanced, advanced, advanced situation. However, however, we out here, we say F that. We say F that. F, F that. I'm just going to go full throttle, immerse myself, and get so immersed in what I'm doing. So technically, it's like two and a half methods. Like this, two and a half methods. Method number one is the minimal effort, building it up to the old maximum effort is now your new minimal effort. Number two is we say F that, I'm just gonna go full throttle all the way in on grinding the fundamentals. And then the two and a half one, the two and a half one is say, hey, just let me get totally immersed, work on the fundies, work on the advanced, work on everything. We out here, we grinding, we huh. Okay, so, you guys know me, I know I kind of went all over the place, I kind of went all over the place, but, but, take what you take from this video, right, whatever you want, you don't have to agree with me, that's all good, take what you want from this video, uh, disagree, agree, everyone has their opinions, we're all in this space to be real, to learn, you know, to have a good time, you know what I'm saying, but, if there's one thing, Right? If there's one thing, let's say you forget everything about this video, which I pray you don't because there's a lot of good content in this video. Um, especially for me, I'm learning a lot just from hearing myself talk. Um, it's a good refresher if I have to go back and kind of, hey, what was I talking about the other day? Alright, let me go listen to myself and then, alright, I got it. If you're going to take one thing from this video, it is please, please, please understand that you have so much control in your life, you know? That there are things that are in your control. You're in control of your habits. You are in control of your patterns. You know. And um, once you understand that. They lose power over you. Patterns lose power over you. Bad habits lose power over you. Understand that you're in control. You know. At the end of the day. I feel like my greatest enemy is myself. You know. Um, and I want to understand that. It's all on me. You know. My future depends on who I am. You know. My future depends on what I do, and I just want to um, understand that for myself first, that I have patterns, you know, and I can change them, and I, I can understand them, and I adjust things the way that I that I, I see best and that works for me, you know? So, guys, I appreciate you spending your time with me. All these past 14 minutes have been very energetic, so thank you guys. Peace out.